Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Solving equations, system of linear equation using scientific calculus. So let me show you two examples. First of all, solve for x and y. 2x minus 5y minus 1 equals 0. And 3x plus 7 equals 2y. And we're using scientific calculator to solve system of linear equation. You need write equations in standard form. The standard form is AX is AX standard form is AX plus BY equals C. You have two, so A1, B1, C1. And the second one is A2, X plus B2, Y equals C2. So this is standard form. Then you convert this way. So based on the given equation, the constant one is on the left side. We need to move to the right side. And the second equation the 2y on the right side and the 7 on the left side, we need transfer 2y to the left side and move 7 to the right side. Okay, so let's do this. So we change it to 2x minus 5y, you call positive 1, right? Maybe 1 to the other side. And 3x minus 2y, you call negative 7. Then this is a standard form. And you can see in this case, compared with this one, you have this one is A1, you call 2, B1, you call negative 5, C1, you call 1, and A2, you call 3, B2, you call negative 2, and C2, you call negative 7. After you have this one, that's easy, easy. Calculate. You go to mode, 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 hit mode three times. Let me show you. One, two, three. And equation, and hit one, which is this is the equation. Equation one. You have unknown, you have two unknown or three unknown. You have, we have two unknown in this question that hit two. This is the number of unknown. This calculator able to solve two unknown and three unknown. Then you hit the two. They ask you what a one because you already write the standard form or already write a one b one c one. You just enter two. A1 is 2 equal, B1 is negative 5 equal, C1 equal to 1. And A2, 3, enter, B2, negative 2, enter, C2, negative 7, enter. You just got the answer, you just hit the equal sign every time after you enter A1, B1, C1. A2, B2, C2. You got the answer. And also, if you make mistake, then you still can change. You keep, if you find you made some mistake, you still can keep pressing equal, then back to Y, then back to A1. You, you can change the number, right? Or you want to, you, you got the, this question, oh, got so many decimal. And uh, maybe you got the wrong answer, then you want to double check if the constant was right, so you keep a1 equal 2. If you want to still double check the original equation, it's part 2. Then you go to enter equal sign again, b1 equal negative 5, c1 equal 1, and a2 equals positive 3, and b2 equal negative 2, c2 equal negative 7. And everything. Correct. Correct.
okay and hit equal sign this will give you for example x equals negative three point three six you keep two decimal place and also maybe uh, your teacher say you, you and your teacher want to get the exact answer uh, and she or he doesn't want to get the approximate number so get the exact answer means you need to give the answer as decimal or as fraction so you can remember we do fraction you can do shift because this is three point is mixed number we need to go to shift abc and give you this one which is is negative 37 over 11 right and hit the b uh, hit equal sign again the y equal negative 1.55 it approximate if you want to get exact shift ABC you got negative 17 over 11 right so this is the exact answer this is the X this is the Y right the first example okay and go to second example which is also a practical question when solving some uh, riddle and there are several force acting on and then you need to solve for force F1, F2, F3 you have three formula, three equations you already set it, three equations for example uh, mostly talking about the x direction, y direction, z direction x direction the total force has to be equal to zero and as well as y direction and the z direction and you setting the equation and uh, this is all related to decimal, right? The angle, maybe uh, one force is is 30 degree, the other force is 45, something. So this situation, you make a formula, you make an equation, which is all related to decimal. That is hard to using algebra way. It, it's still working, but it takes time. But at that time, maybe, uh, your teacher, uh, he, he doesn't need that you show the algebra way, he just want to show the answer because the most important for for your instructor maybe what is the equation, if it, the equation was right. So that situation, you, you can use calculate, very easy. The one thing you need to be careful with saying if this is the standard form of this is the uh, three equa uh, three linear system equations which is standard form same thing is a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z equals zero uh, equals d1 right equals d1 this is the first one the second one is a2 times x plus b2 times y plus c2 multiplied z equals d2 and the third one is a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 z equals d3 so follow this standard form we need a little bit change this one because in the first equation you can see you have f1 have f2 no f3 that's why uh, actually the coefficient of third one equals zero. So you need to write the this way. You need to write 0 0.500. That means you need to keep three decimal places at the end. F1 minus 0 0.707 F2. You can press zero F3 equal zero right this is the first equation and from this one you can see the a1 this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 uh, this is a1 this is b1 this is c1 this is d1 okay and the second equation we can write 0 0.866 f1 plus 
0.707 F2 minus F3 equal 10.0. The second equation they have everything F1, F2, F3 and the constant. The third one F2, so that's why F1 the coefficient is 0. So you write 0 F1 plus 3.00 F2 minus 3.00 Zero zero F three equal twenty point zero. When they missing some unknown, you need a coefficient for the zero, right? This is very important. Now, this one is a one. This one is a two. This one is a three, right? And then the negative 0 0.707 is B1. And this is positive is B2. This one is B3. And 0, this one is C1. The negative 1, actually negative 1, is C2. Negative 3.00 is C3. And this is uh, D1, this is D2, this is D3. It's better to label it, right? Then we can go to, before that, because previously we using two unknown, that's why we need to go to one mode, one, and yeah, uh, you, you have, you erase everything. So if you are not sure, you, you go to uh, second function mode which is 2 you clear the mode okay then you go to still same you s hit the mode three times one two three go to equation one and have two unknown or three unknown this question is three unknown hit the three it asks you a1 then enter Enter this one is 0 0.5, 0, 0 is not necessary because 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0, 0 is the same thing. Enter B1 is negative 0 0.707. Enter C1 equals 0, D1 equals 0. Then go to A2. A2 is 0 0.866. Enter B2 is 0 0.707. Enter and the C, C2 you call negative 1. Negative 1. Enter D1 is called 10. Enter and A3 you call 0. 0. B3 you call 3. C3 you call negative 3. And D3 you call 20. They give you answer. You got answer is x means f1. So you got f1 equals 5.06. The reason is for the significant digit 3, 1, 2, 3. This is a 1, 2, 3 sigma figure. This is still. 1, 2, 3, sigma figure, right? 3, sigma figure. So we need to keep 3, sigma figure, which is 5.06. And F2 equals 3.58. F3 is negative 3.09. Don't worry about negative. The negative means because you don't know when you setting equation the unknown you just assuming the direction and when you got the answer get the negative that means the exactly direction is opposite with you setting okay yeah. so this is presented by wise guys thank you